Artists, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you this metal art piece that I have been really intrigued by for a very long time. And I wanted to make my own version. But just looking at it, I felt very overwhelmed by the lines and what it would actually take to do it. Um, so I kind of like procrastinated on it. So I finally got up the nerve and did it. And guess what? It was not even hard or complicated at all. Let me show you exactly what I did. First, I took a foam board and started drawing lines. It wasn't perfect lines. I just wanted to sketch out how I would like the lines to be placed. If you want to make sure the lines are completely straight, I say go for it. It may be helpful to put the image of your inspirational piece on your phone just so you can refer to it as you're drawing out your lines. Once I finished, I took 1 4th inch square dowels that I found at Home Depot and placed them on the lines I drew horizontally. I used 12 dowels for this particular project and they were 98 cents each, which wasn't bad. And it was 36 inches long. Next, I took a pen and marked where the dowel should be cut. Then I cut each of them down using my miter saw. It literally took me five minutes to finish all my cuts, but if you don't have a miter saw, which I highly recommend, you could also use a miter box and a hand saw. It's very inexpensive to have, and if you don't know how to use one, I'll put the link to a video that I did recently on how to do it um, in the description box below as well as at the top. So right now I am placing the cut dowels on the lines, um, you know, based on their length. Afterwards, I realized I had some extra pieces that were the right size for the vertical lines. So I placed them on top.
I had a few more dowels left to cut, so I repeated the same process as before. Now that all the dowels are in position, I took my pen and placed marks on each side of the dowel. That way I knew exactly where I needed to put glue on each of the dowels. I didn't show this on camera, but I'm sure you get exactly what I'm saying. Next, I attached my dowels together with hot glue. Afterwards, I took my heat gun and melted away any glue strings that were present. After the glue dried for about 20 minutes, I took it outside and I spray painted it with a silver metallic spray paint. But feel free to use any spray paint of your choice or you can hand paint it. Um, I can see this in a lot of different colors. Check out how light it was. And here's how it turned out. With this particular piece, you have the option of displaying it horizontally or vertically, which is really nice. If you notice, I'm using an OOK that is OOK picture hanger since the wall art is so light. I didn't get a chance to do this, but if you decide to use one, I would highly recommend painting it the same color as your wall. That way no one will really be able to see the hook. If you want to know where to find an OOK hanger, I will put the link in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be very helpful and encouraging. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great week.